The next component of launching your digital product is copywriting. All sales of digital products are heavily influenced by good copywriting, no matter how good or how relevant you think your product is for the market. If your communication or selling story is wrong, you won't be able to make one sale. Copywriting is a valuable skill in any online business, and it is the number one key factor for your success. Remember, it's not just about your product, but your skill to create desire in your prospect. There are eight steps in creating a hypnotic sales letter to hook your customers. One, headline. Two, subheadline. Three, introduction. Four, regurgitation. Five, solutions. Six, call to action. Seven, handling objections. And finally, eight, P.S. The most important part in every sales letter is the headline. It creates the first impression of your product. You need to hook your customer's attention by writing about the results and benefits of your solution. Specify it in the headline. Remember, features tell and benefits sell, so be specific and focus on the benefits and results. The more specific the results, the more attractive your headline is. Next is the subheadline. Every good headline must have a subheadline to support it. If the start of your headline serves to hook your prospect's attention, the subheadline, on the other hand, pulls your prospect to read further. This usually appears under your headline, or it can be above it and is one or two font sizes smaller than the headline. The subheadline is also important to catch the attention of page scrollers to read what they are interested in. So, what matters is the supporting sales copy the subheadline is emphasizing on as it helps to pull the curiosity of your prospects further. Next is the introduction. A sales letter doesn't have to be formal. Despite the number of views it's going to get, your writing tone should be that of a one-on-one -on -one instead of a broad general address. Share a little about yourself and how the prospect can relate to where you once were and how you can help him achieve his goals. Then start addressing their problem. If it doesn't attract some of your prospects, that's all right, because this is also the time to weed out those who aren't interested. You want to spend time and effort on those who are interested because they're the ones who are looking to pay to solve a problem. Next is to regurgitate. Here you exaggerate an existing problem by showing your prospect an inferior alternative over your offer. For example, let's say your prospects are looking for graphic design solutions. They want to create ebook covers and do simple designs. Now, not everyone can afford an Adobe Photoshop license, as it is very pricey. Some even lack the design skill, time, and money to do what's necessary. With this piece of information, your offer aims to solve their problem. Now, mention the long awaited solution for them. Introduce to them how your solution creates logos, ebook covers, and avatars which they can use for their websites and digital products. Don't forget to provide the features and benefits your solution delivers. If you have more than one component to your solution, divide them into sections or categories. The benefits of your products must be bold and colorized, advisably the color yellow for emphasis. Next is handling objections. There will always be people who doubt amongst your prospects. The solution to this is to identify the top 10 or 20 questions you think your customers will ask and address them in your copywriting. We call this the FAQ or Frequently Asked Questions. Write those questions down and start answering them. Pick the top three to five frequently asked questions answered by you and put them right after your solution. Additionally, you can add testimonials from your past and active customers. It can be in the form of a social network post or a video testimonial. There's always the money-back guarantee option. If you want to give your prospect confidence that you're not a scammer of any kind, then this option is worth considering. You could consider a 30- or 60-day money-back guarantee where your customer can request for a refund within that time period. If you clearly receive a customer who has ill intentions of purchasing and purposely asking for a refund even though the product's good, we call them serial refunders then no worries, just block the customer from future purchases in your system. Your money-back guarantee is how you want to convince your customers and give them confidence that you stand by your product quality. 
Name your price in the call to action. Notice how most sales letters reveal the price only towards the end? That's because once your prospect is exposed to the price, you need him to click on the bottom and make a decision to purchase now, not later. Waiting will lessen the opportunity to convert your prospect to a customer. Finally is your postscript or PS. This is the second most viewed part within a sales letter because most viewers are page scrollers. Their curiosity will drive them towards the end of your sales letter, which is the PS. This is where you must make your offer impactful. Sum up your offer in two or three lines by reminding them about your money-back guarantee section and bonuses. You can even share the extended version of your testimonials here. Keep in mind, a lengthy sales letter will be deemed worthless if it doesn't make sales out of it. Tackle this problem by ensuring you send a clear and concise message in the sales letter. Rule of thumb for good copywriting is to not to use 10 words to describe something which you can say with 3 words or less. If you truly need to make it longer, consider making a sales video. Chances are you won't be able to write every word you want to put in a sales letter. So make a sales video with 80% likeness of your sales letter instead. Best of luck with your copywriting!